So I just got here, it's like almost nine o'clock. It's this beautiful trailhead. So you can see kind of behind me, me and this cute little truck. We're like twinners. Okay, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna let you guys check it out. So we'll see, let's get going. There's the river. Wish me luck. Not even half a mile in, but I just had to get this out because it's so beautiful. There's a river. I'm wondering if I'm going to cross it. But it's awesome. All right, onward. I have to dork out for a second because this little patch here has, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, my favorite flower. There's the columbine and there's a ton of them. Then down there is the Indian paintbrush. And then we keep going up and these pretty little guys, I forget, I think they're maybe called Larkspur. Ooh, and then there's just something in the mint family. So this little area is flower awesomeness. So this is my uh, second stream crossing. I wouldn't even call it yet, it's like a creek. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to do it with the GoPro, which is probably not the smartest idea, but how cool would that be if I can do it? I'm picking this route just because it's the most shallowest, so even if I do kind of fall in, my my boots are pretty ah, waterproof. See? Like I just did. And then I'm gonna do here, but I might have to turn this off for that. See? Okay. I will turn it off and let's assume I make it to the other side. No problem. Made it thanks to these cool little inventions. See the little stick thing? So I'm maybe three mile, three and a half, and I feel like I'm crawling because I don't know if you can see, but this is like a switchback. It, it's super steep. So I'm like going super slow. Puffin and a puffin, but I'm still going. So I made it up that super steep stuff and it, we did, we, me, myself and I, we did 1, 000, about 1,000 climb elevation. So now I have this awesome little flat area. It's so pretty. And well, I got this for a while and then I have, I think, one th another 1,000 foot climb. So here we go. So, um, I think I made it mostly to the top of this. It was only supposed to be uh, 4,000 feet gain. No, anyway, I have no idea, but I was feeling like a big baby. But then I looked at my elevation, total elevation climbing, which means going up and then down and up, and it was like something like 6,500. So now, I feel cool and actually when it is um cold I mean I'm hot because I'm climbing but uh it is maybe I don't know 50 degrees and it's breezy so that's helping it for sure but anyway take a look you can see those mountains snow and I came from way down there so I think I'm about to go up and over and keep on going so I am five miles in, thoroughly kicked my butt. I am now at 8,200 like, feet elevation. This little cool area is Boulder Lake. And I'm gonna head on this way for a few more miles. And then I'm gonna meet up with a PCT. So I'm super excited for that. It's like 11 o'clock. I totally forgot to mention that um, back there like I the trail kind of disappeared and it was I was off trail and I was so thankful to have my all trails app because I was able to zoom in on that little line and then walk around until I stumbled back on it and um, it's kind of funny you can see me doing some circles uh, did a little extra miles oh and it is not 11 it's 11 30 all right onward Look at snow. Well, a teeny, teeny dusting. 
um, kind of cool. So I'm wondering if we will see any more. How cool would that be? So I'm seven miles in and I've officially hit the PCT and yeah, and now, now I have what? <laughs> 10 more miles to go and I think it's around like 1230 or something. All right, onward. I think this is almost the top. <laughs> there's, I'm like, there's always more. So I'm at 8,668 feet. Super high up here. You can kind of see snow-capped mountains. This is I'm going that way. And I have to say, this is definitely the hardest hike I've ever done. The, the elevation, the climb in, what have I done, seven miles, uh, 3,000 feet elevation. Doesn't sound like much, but it is. So anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm almost at the top. And then it should be smooth sailing from here on out because um, at least I'm hoping so. Oh, look, let's go see what's around the corner. See, this is what's fun. You get tired. But then you're like, oh, what's over here? And you're like, let's go check it out. And then you go over there and you're like, oh, well, keeps going. What's over here? See, anyway, I'll fill you in in a bit. So I lied. The elevation went up a little more to like 8,800 feet. And I think that's it. We're starting to go down. I, it's 12.45. I've done maybe eight miles. I got to pick up the pace and I have to make myself eat lunch. I'm not hungry at all, but you know I need to eat to keep on going. So I found this little spot right by the trail. There's a little bit of water. Very cute. And I'm going to have a little sandwich. So, hit 9,000 feet, it's cool, and I'm like nine and a half miles, so I'm over halfway. I think I'm almost to the top of this mountain, um, so if so, then I should make it. My goal is like 17, 18 miles today, but check out, snow. So, you know I'm up, getting up there because the snow is actually sticking. So remember earlier when I was telling you how I kind of got lost and how the trail was, it was just kind of wasn't well marked. It was like bushes, overgrown. And um, anyway, now I'm on the PCT, so check this out. You can see, well, I can see the trail is like super well marked because apparently tons and tons of people hike on this, um, although on this part, just a few miles I've been on it, I've only saw one group of people. Um, they had a dog, it's cute, and they were from Russia, go figure. Anyway, just wanted to point that out, like check this out. The trail is just like carved in by foot, by feet into the side of the mountain. This part of the trail is really interesting. I think I'm at the top. I mean, I keep saying that, but I'm around like 9,200 feet. But, like, right? We're not going to the top of that thing. At least I don't think so. Anyway, I'll show you a little more when we get a bit closer. Okay, so it's official. For sure, for sure. 9,300 feet, and I'm, I, I gotta be at the top of this mountain, so check it out. There's like this, and then the trail goes that way. And I don't know, there's nowhere else up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's the top. Yay, now that means I get to go downhill. And usually I'm not excited for downhill because it eventually hurts my knees. But there was so much uphill today that I am grateful for heading down. I hate to bore you again with more stunning scenery. Check that out. Oh, and look at this. A fence. That's kind of funny. And, um, yeah. Awesome. So, if I were here with my kids, 
I would say packs off and we would totally go up there and slide down because it doesn't that look fun. I don't have time to do it by myself. But anyway, they would love that. Just like quick, quick little sledding mission. Um, anyway, making some progress. I'm off the PCT now. And as you can see, you're like, where's the trail? Well, I don't, it's here somewhere. Look, okay, like here it is. Can you even see that? So this is my saving the day. Dun, dun, dun. Follow the red line. So we're going this way, even though it doesn't look like a trail to me. Kind of bushwhacking a bit. Well, I'm probably like, I don't even know. I didn't look, but like 13 miles, 14, maybe not. But uh, I'm so grateful for my technology because like this trail is completely non-existent. Um, well, anyway, here's this beautiful river. And apparently the trail is somewhere around here. So I'm just kind of like, I'm, I have to say, I'm learning serious uh, navigation skills only in the sense that I can like, look, this grass has been bent down there. I think that's a trail. Look, there's deer hoof prints. They're using it as a trail. Let's follow the deer. Anyway, um, okay, so it's like ridiculously beautiful and there's no one around. I think I'm the first person to actually use this trail this season because I've crossed a lot of snow and um, I've seen no footprints other than deer footprints. Like, like you know where am I gonna go? Maybe I'll cross the river. Anyway, well, onward. Check it out. I found beautiful waterfalls. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, really cool. Yeah, and they're not even in Yosemite. Go figure. So, I'm going to show you the trail, or lack of. Check this out. Okay, first of all, I came up from somewhere in there. I'm following the red line, and the red line, oops, very marshy, is goes right through here somewhere quite beautiful slow going we're going that direction um, I don't know if I would call this a trail on another uh, waterfall on this crazy unmarked trail apparently you have to be badass to find waterfalls in this area this is my first like real river crossing where I have to, I have to take everything off and yeah so, there we go. Yeah. I made it, no problem. Um, I unstrapped my pack just in case, but it wasn't that deep. It went up to like, kind of like my high thighs. And there's so many fish in it, like beautiful ones, but there's a sign right over there that says like no fishing. Um, anyway, it's five o'clock. And honestly, I don't know how much longer I have. I think, I'm hoping, I've two miles but this uh train has been a lot more difficult just because like as you can see where's the trail so we'll see i'm hoping to get there by six but it might be seven i was like i don't need to make it to my spot i should just camp here it's perfect it's sandy right by the river there's like no one for miles and then i'm looking down i'm like wow look at these footprints check it out and then I thought, they're super fresh too. Bears? Eh, I don't think I'm going to camp here. I guess it's going to be a late night. Well, I think I'm just going to hang out with some bears. I walked down the river a bit, and this is like, it looks like a great spot. You know, cross the river again, get out to the sandy land. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna go make sure there's no fresh bear tracks and then I'm gonna set up camp. It is officially night. I think it's, I don't know what time it is. Let's see, it is 6.40. And here's my little setup. It's super adorable. My little tent. There's the beautiful river. And yeah, super tired, but um, that's fine. I still have to cook dinner. 
I'm not even hungry, but I'm gonna cook dinner anyway and get warm clothes on because I can feel the temperatures dropping and get, then go tie my bear bag to something because there's definitely bears around here. And then I am gonna go in my bed and I'm gonna read my Kindle and I'm gonna probably fall fast asleep. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I'm all cozy. It's like, I don't even know, seven, eight, it's probably like eight o'clock and it's still so light out but I don't even care because I got my Kindle I'm gonna read my book and I'm letting my back lay flat and it feels really good so um, good night good morning so the night went well um, I actually slept while I was really tired I woke up feeling so rickety but now once everything's packed up, I feel pretty good. It's still cold, so I'm going to start hiking into my puffy. Um, I think I'm going to do less miles today. Maybe like 13-ish. But honestly, I, I say 13 in, in my language. That means like 15. So we'll see. Yesterday, I think I ended up doing like, according to my Fitbit, uh, 20 miles. So... Let's get started. It's a pretty amazing morning. My plan, see those mountains up there? Straight ahead. This trail should go up to the left. I'm going to go over them somehow. And then eventually hop back onto the PCT. The one plus of that is I know it's going to be a really well-marked trail, so I'm thinking today won't be nearly as much bushwhacking. I'm relying on my phone. I'm probably about maybe 8,200 8, feet, and it's so pretty up here. The climb so far today hasn't been bad. Nothing like yesterday. It's more gradual. I have more to climb, but for the moment, it's pretty level. See, now the question is, where's the trail? Uh, let's go this way. I don't know. Once again, I think I'm like the first person on this trail this year. Oh, maybe this is it. I just saw a bear, it was so cool, sadly. It saw me first, so then like by the time I saw it, it was just like booking away. It was right over there, and it ran that way. But I'm gonna keep this on. Um, it was so cool. It was big and brown and bounding off. Very, very awesome. I feel lucky. I think being up here, kind of high elevation with these views, makes me realize, well, obviously, how far out I am, and there's no one out here on these non, you know, well-known trails. There's literally no one. I haven't seen anyone. Um, pretty neat. So, I'm going that way. I'm diverting from my red line because this thing says Elder Creek that way. So if I go that way, it's a more um, developed trail. And if I go that way, and but what that does is, I don't know if you can see, there's this big mountain right there. It ends up in the same place, but it goes around that mountain. So I'm at this point with the amount of bushwhacking and trail finding that I've done, I'm going for the easy trail. It will probably cut two to three miles off. So today I might even have enough time to set up camp and go explore or something. But yeah, I'm going for the well-marked trail at this point. I stopped for lunch. I'm only like six miles in, but it's 11 and I'm hungry. Check it out. I have avocado, cheese, some salami stuff, and flatbread, and it's gonna be delicious. 
This is probably one of the, well, there's been so many beautiful spots, but this is so beautiful. This is, apparently this is the trail. You just kind of follow this little creek that direction. But all these yellow flowers are blooming. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. All in this little valley, it's quite beautiful. Very lush <clears throat> and wet, but so far this trip, there's been no mosquitoes. I think it's still too early. It's been pretty darn cold. Thankfully, um, maybe in a couple of weeks they'll come out. So I just met my first PCT hiker. I stopped on this corner trail and so that was cool. And now I am, I totally changed my route. So I was going to go this one way, but then I'm going to go this other way. And I'm it's such, I'm like, did I make the right decision? Should I stay on, should I have stayed on the PCT? I don't know. I'm kind of like, anyway, look, this is looking really beautiful. So far I'm pretty stoked on my decision. So we'll see. I definitely think backpacking is a lot of um, problem solving, one. And you kind of got to just go with the flow, which is so unlike me, so maybe it's good for me. Sometimes you have this plan and then you just don't do it. Well, I did like 15 miles. I went up to this lake, but it's like only three o'clock and I, I'm, I didn't give myself enough miles. I'm only like six or eight miles from where I started but I'm not done hiking. <laughs> Can't stop at three o'clock. So I'm following this trail down. It's called Disaster Creek Trail, which makes me interested. As you can see, the trail kind of follows this creek. So I've already like dipped my boots into mud a few times, but um, oh, sorry about that. Anyway, next time I gotta plan a little bit more miles. I think I figured it out. All the miles yesterday were really difficult. Like no trail, um, lots of climbing and going up and down. And then I think today I'm, I'm, I don't even know. I think I'm at like 18 miles, 17, 18 miles. And it's only like 3.30 and I feel great. But as you can see, I can GoPro and walk at the same time because the trail is super chill. It's fairly flat. If there is any elevation, it's downhill. So I will be at my, my car probably 5.30, 6. So depending how I feel, I'll either camp there. It's kind of a nice area. Or maybe just drive home. I don't know. To be continued. It's back at the car. Maybe another mile, but everything is just so beautiful. So I just wanted to just so I guess spring, I lucked out because we had, sadly, not enough snow and rain. So what that means for backpacking this time of year is that most of the trails were pretty accessible. Um, however, many non-used, but most of the main trails, there's no snow or the snow that there was, was minimal and it's like right before mosquito season because fast forward two weeks or so this will be mosquito heaven yeah almost done with my journey so i finished um it is like 5 10. the total trip ended up only being 37 miles so i did like i guess i did 17 yesterday around there 17 and a half and then 20 today because it was like so something like that 37 miles, I'm gonna head home. I feel like it was a success.